Welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 29th of November through to Sunday the 5th of December 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. So during the meditation and pre-shuffle of um, your uh, weekly read Pisces um, I received a channeled message that uh, I think it's your twin flame whoever you associate or whoever you're thinking about as your twin flame it feels as if they um, either feel like you are um, detached from them disconnecting feeling as if maybe um, like they're boxing above their weight with you like it feels like you either uh you you either in good standing okay so you may have a really good job you know you've kind of got your shit together um this person doesn't know whether or not they can level up to your expectations basically because they haven't reached that stage yet um and i feel as if um you're being guided to uh, pay attention to uh, any kind of signs or synchronicities that will um uh, reveal that to you okay so that you can take whatever action you are guided to take to reassure this person that it isn't about material wealth it's about the soul connection that you feel with this person um, I would say that many of you um, do know this person uh, quite well or you may have um, been in a relationship been in a connection with them or for some of you, uh, the connection or a relationship never really took off. I feel as if this person uh, may have also, um, the two of you may have been silent for a hot minute. Uh, they are very, very confused, I would say, over, you know, where they want to go with you. Because I feel like they feel as if they're boxing above their weight uh, with you. Um, but also, I feel that they've got a lot of um, regret okay over conversations that have been had maybe those silent treatments if that uh, resonates for you um a little bit scared as well i think scared by the intensity of the connection uh they absolutely absolutely see you as their uh their one and only like you are the one for them they know that deep in their soul they think the world of you they would love to build a future with you um you know um create a family maybe even marry you for some of you okay um but they may have misjudged they may have misjudged you when they first encountered you um you which kind of resulted in them not really giving to the connection and i think they have a lot of regret for that okay okay so let's have a look and see how this is all connecting with your crowning messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does... Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. So just being near you is intoxicating. So it feels as if what this person may have judged um, with... I, I'm just being focused on the intoxicating. They may have thought that the two of you coming together, the chemistry and the intensity of the connection, it may have been construed as lust and not actually love. As time has gone on, um, and if the two of you have kind of separated or not really talking that much or gone through some silent treatment to one, one another, I feel that this person has been enlightened in some way, that what they kind of thought this connection with with you was perhaps maybe just love maybe just wanting to kind of get leg over that kind of thing uh i feel as if um uh they they misjudge that okay but it does not dilute the fact that this person is hot for you okay um they definitely feel the passion on a physical level okay to the point it is literally intoxicating my angels and spirit guide thank you and second message oh wow yeah look at that i replay our conversations over and over so remember i said to you in the channeled message that this person's got a lot of regret um I feel a lot of regret, a lot of confusion over some of the conversations that you had. Maybe for some of you, the conversations were pretty intense or maybe the frequency of your contact and conversations 
was uh, too overwhelming for this person, but whatever they said or however they reacted or whatever they didn't say, I almost feel as if they are definitely analysing that, playing it back, realising that maybe they had misjudged um, you in some shape, form or another, um, which resulted in them really not giving uh, to the connection or not reciprocating, particularly Pisces, if you were quite open and quite frank with this person about how you were feeling towards them. And, oh, wow. And it, look, I lost myself for a little while. I feel as if when you first encountered this person, they went along with it. Even though they felt the passion, it was quite intoxicating for them. They continued with the conversations. They, they... They went along with it. I wouldn't say that they stringed you along, um, but they, let's say, for example, uh, I don't know, you guys would message each other, you know, every morning, every evening, every lunchtime, something like that. They went along with it um, and they kind of lost themselves in it for a while. But it feels as if something happened that due to their own insecurity, they either avoided a really pertinent conversation that was had or they shut it down or they turn around and said do you know what um i don't i don't feel that way towards you something along those lines uh they are definitely replaying it's a particular conversation that you had with them that they are replaying and it almost feels as if that is what may have triggered the two of you going into like silent treatment or like the the, the connection fizzling out a little way in in a, in a little bit um yeah fizzling out a little bit uh i feel that they they did they did lose themselves with you okay they you know all their insecurities or reservations even though they felt this passion they may have felt that you were operating from a place of lust they got carried away with it okay um they got carried yeah they got they got carried away with it and i feel that they are um this week really analyzing really looking at that particularly if they shut down the connection, avoided it, uh, resisted it, said something quite hurt, cutting, hurt, hurtful, okay? Uh, they're, they're, they're replaying all of this. Okay, so for your crowning wisdom message, we've got five, five. Reserve your right to say no. Enabling toxic behaviours serves no one in the end. How interesting. So I feel that with uh, the blue coming in here, that represents your throat chakra. Um, if, do you know something? For some of you, this feels like it's connected with work. Hmm. <coughs> Is there some toxicity going on in your workplace, Pisces? If so, it almost feels as if um, things are coming to the forefront. Things are being revealed, okay, to big bosses, okay? And I feel as if you're being guided um, to say no to any kind of toxic behaviour. Don't get yourself wrapped up in it, basically. Be mindful with what you speak. Focus on speaking in the future speak as if like today tomorrow next week next month next year um uh, anything that's gone on in the past just just don't entertain it i feel but also on a relationship front i feel that you're being guided um to basically leave the past behind so whatever it is um that perhaps was toxic particularly this person um misjudged you i feel that you're being guided to say no to that behavior um and to move forward uh to speak your truth at all times operate from that place of spirit and truth in in your heart and that will come out through what you speak okay but you do have the right to say no to any kind of toxic behavior or any kind of low vibrational energy it's not going to serve you it's not going to serve this connection and if some of you are resident resonating with this message uh, for uh, work, that wisdom message, uh, it's not going to serve you and the company and your uh, where you want to do, what you want to progress, what it is it you want to achieve um, in your current place of work. Oh, thank you. Second crown of wisdom message. Wow, nine, nine, nine. 
beautiful mastery of self-love has been attained, obtained in preparation for union. Um, this beautiful silver that's coming out, your psychic abilities have definitely um, awoken, activated. And I would say that they have been for a while. Um, so during this period of uh, separation, remember I was saying that the connection may have fizzled out or the two of you may have gone through some sort of silent treatment. It allowed you to focus on self-love. And that may have been the lesson that this person brought to you. Uh, you have achieved it. Well done. It almost feels as if your spirit teams are on the sideline just saying, well done, Pisces. Uh, you've leveled up, basically. So that message in your channeled message about um, pay, a sight, pay attention to signs, synchronicities, visions, dreams, um, honestly and truly, really pay um, uh, uh, um, attention to it because your psychic abilities are fully awoken and ready, okay? Ready to see what the uh, 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 human eye can't see, what the human mind can't comprehend. Your psychic abilities are going to kick in, okay? Because it's almost as if the mastery of self-love, it almost feels, if I can articulate it, it almost feels as if you've wrapped yourself in love. Does that make sense, Pisces? Love for self, um, love for um, life, uh, love for who you are, where you've been, where you are right now and where you're going, okay? And that was almost kind of what you needed in order to, I almost feel, to uh, shine the light um, to uh, almost spiritually secure this person that is not about material wealth, particularly if they feel that they can't level up to you. All right. So it's almost like their insecurities. It almost feels as if you're going to get some additional information through signs, synchronicities, dreams or visions that is going to reveal to you that this person is really insecure in themselves. But you know what the beauty of this card is? The mastery of self-love is that you won't internalize it. You won't flip it back on yourself and think, oh, maybe I should do this, or maybe I should do that, or maybe it's me, maybe I've given the wrong impression. You're not going to do that because you're going to be quite wrapped in your in love for yourself, that you will be able to differentiate what is your energy, okay, of insecurity and what is theirs. And I feel that that's why your channel's message was saying to you, uh, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because it's like you're ready to receive that information of insecurity, of not being able to level up because that may have been some of your patterns, some of your traits, um, but you've mastered self-love. So now it almost feels as if you are being guided to almost shine the, the light to your twin flame um, to level up, okay, and apply self-love to them. And just know that it's not about material wealth. This is a spiritual journey, a soul journey that you're both going on together. And look at that 511. I cannot even make this up cannot make it up. Again, psychic abilities opening with the silver coming here. Your twin flame is now beginning to connect the dots back to you. Everything around your card is indicating this person has woken up to this connection. If they denied it, resisted it, avoided it, said anything that was cutting or judgy or, um, you know, cut you out for a hot minute, um, they are now connecting the dots. And you can see that from, um, you know, them replaying the conversations over and over and over. So it's almost as your psyche ability is is awake, OK, almost um, on turbo charge. Uh, it's almost as if you are awakening their psychic ability, connecting the dots to you. What a beautiful message. OK, so Pisces. If this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really, really does help to push this video out to um, other uh, Pisces. And also as well, it does enable you to receive those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Pisces, it does support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. 
existing subscribers thank you thank you um um for returning um and thank you for all your support encouragement and donations it's really really appreciated and i hope that you all receive a useful and meaningful message um from this week's reading okay let's go ahead and see what um your main love message is my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Pisces, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 29th of November through to Sunday the 5th of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. <coughs> Pisces, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for your weekly reading, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? Week commencing Monday the 29th of November through to Sunday the 5th of December 20. Thank you. Where is it? Well, I definitely saw something turn and I'm sure unless it, it, it done a bit of a... Uh, it done a bit of a somersault in the deck okay well if it needs to come out it will come out let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the twin flames of pisces sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys week commencing monday the 29th of no thank you and then we have solitude, okay? So I feel that whoever you are connecting with, either um, they recognise that you pulled back your energy or they themselves uh, pulled back their energy. And during that period for either of you, uh, I feel that they were definitely replaying those conversations between the two of you. Uh, yeah, this person was definitely wearing a false mask um, with regards to how they felt. Yeah, uh, they got lo they lost themselves in the moment with you. And I feel that when they um, either uh, shut down the connection, resisted the connection in some shape, form or another, they weren't being authentic uh, with themselves. Um, and I feel that they I feel that it's their energy. I feel that it's their energy that has um, that's reflecting playing over the conversations i know that we have a female person here but whether uh, your person is male or female it is their divine feminine energy within them that is um guiding them to address their emotions basically yeah uh, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine in us thank you um and i feel that uh this person is right now during this week is going to be connecting with their divine feminine energy um and that is about them really uh looking at the false mask they weren't authentic with you all right um about how they felt particularly if they judged the situation and they thought that you were operating from a place of lust uh they still carried on they still carried on entertaining the two of you getting to know each other dancing around each other whatever it is it's going to be different for each one of you but then it almost feels as if a key conversation hat was had where pisces you may have um asked a really pertinent question you may have gone straight to the source and just basically ask like what are we what, what are we doing you know are we moving things to the next level something along those lines and this person shut it down they weren't being authentic i feel both of you are being guided um to uh go within uh your inner child okay connect with yourselves i would say pisces that you've already succeeded that that's part of your journey it almost feels as if divine spirit universe has almost been dragging you both from the scruff of your neck to connect with your inner child to find that merriment, that joy, that pure love, okay? Um, 
that surrounds this connection because it is a divinely guided connection. So whoever you are thinking about and whoever you uh, constitute or know as your twin flame, well, we've got it confirmed. They are. And that inner child, it almost feels as it's been a battle for both of you um, to find that purity, to find that divine love, to find that merriment. Because first and foremost, this person wasn't operating um, from their true authentic self, okay? They were wearing a false mask, which may have left you a little bit kind of confused, yeah, I feel that you or you you'd surrendered. I feel that you have surrendered to this connection. I feel many of you surrendered to this connection um before they did. Okay. And I feel as if whatever it is uh that they have gone through, their kind of journey of uh connecting to their inner child, you've already done it. And I said that you you've mastered that self-love. You're surrendering to your inner child, you're surrendering to that purity, and you I feel are going to reserve the right to say no to any kind of toxic conversations or behaviors that is a repeat. Okay. So for example, if um the two of you, like I said, uh, were contacting each other every morning, every uh, afternoon, every evening or whatever, whatever, going along with it. And um, then obviously you may have called them out. They may have called you out. They avoided it. They shut it down. Um, you worked on yourself. You surrendered to your inner child. You saw, you come out, you came out of the other end with mastering self-love, still loving this person. However, you do reserve the right not to go back to old patterns and behaviours. If they try and put that false mask on and not operate with their authentic inner child, I feel that you've got, you're being guided to say you've got the right to say, no, no, no. If we're going to be contacting each other and checking in each other like three times a day, two times a day or something like that, well, we are... We, I only do that if if I'm in a partnership with somebody that is my my person. Um, it's almost like you will lay down the ground rules. You're not going to go through um, the flow uh, so easily, if that makes sense, Pisces. You're not going. You're going to apply that self love. It's kind of like okay, well, I know that I would only be checking in on somebody like three times a day if I'm in a relationship with somebody. So unless you are being authentic with me and accepting that the two of us are going towards that kind of quote unquote relationship status, then actually I'm not, I'm not giving you, I'm not going to give you that time and energy because that time and energy I am reserving for somebody that wants to enter into a relationship with me. That's what I feel in a nutshell that you're being guided. Um, that's the wisdom that I feel that many of you have already surrendered to. Yeah. Putting yourself first, basically, Pisces. Even though you love this person, you're putting yourself first. You're not going to entertain patterns that don't serve you and don't serve the connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how to thank you? Yeah, look at that. I cannot even make it up. Lessons. That was your lesson. Crikey. That exactly was your lesson. And I know that was a bit of a um, an intuitive kind of what I was picking up. But with the lessons cards coming in here, that was your lesson to surrender to self-love. And so therefore, as this connection almost feels as if it's going through a bit of a transformation, a bit of a change. You are not going to allow the same patterns of behavior um, to um, continue. Uh, with this connection either this person comes correct and takes down that false mask and bees their authentic self or otherwise you 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 yourself are going to choose not to entertain it and that was the lesson that you uh, needed to learn and you've learned it all right and i almost feel that you are guiding them to the lessons to connect the dots to be there and look at that didn't i say change transformation the world card this is divine intervention yeah the cycle between the two of you of whatever lessons you needed to learn you've certainly learned it it's now for them to learn it and i feel that they are on that road 
um, to doing that, particularly um, with the cards that have come out, solitude, replaying conversations, feeling the intoxic, in, in toxic, the, um, toxic um, intoxicating uh, presence of your energy, um, being lost in it. Why? Why did they feel that? You know, this person's asking a lot of questions about themselves, yeah? Not sure whether or not they can level up um, to you, okay? You're definitely the leader in this connection, yeah? All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does, what's going on here? How does the twin flames of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey? Monday the 29th of, thank you. Okay. Wow. Okay. So with the five of wands, this person was definitely conflicted with the com conversations that the two of you had because they knew they know they now know that they weren't being their authentic self. Uh, this person's definitely recognizing with the six of cups. They've lived many, many lives with you. And that is almost what I feel has been activated within them. And, and that inner conflict of what to do next, um, connecting with their inner self, taking down that mask. Uh, is a burden for them with the Ten of Wands because it almost feels as if this person um, is not sure. Like it, It's going back to your channeled message. They're not sure whether or not their true authentic self will level up to you. Again, they, they're not sure whether or not they're bu boxing above their weight with you and that's really burdensome for them and that may have been the key reason why they put on that false mask but they are really thinking about it they may also think that there are people around you that there's com there's competition okay the five of wands can be external conflict people fighting for his, your attention uh but they uh they miss you they that six of cups they recognize that the two of you have lived many many lives and during this period of um you know a bit of separation maybe not talking to each other as much they're definitely reflecting on that okay their divine feminine energy um definitely uh connecting with the emotions connecting with whatever it is that wasn't authentic that they displayed to you and yeah okay so with the uh six of swords any kind of uh arguments any kind of whatever it is conversations that weren't authentic they want to put it behind them they want to put it behind them and they want to move forward uh, put that burden down, but move forward, I feel, um, to calmer peace of waters with you. This person wants to reconcile because they miss you. They do miss you. Um, and I feel that they recognise that they had a very, very big part to play um, in the separation or things fizzling out. Yeah, look at that, the three of cups in reverse. So I feel that this person... Uh, yeah, they lost themselves for a while with this connection, um, wanting to be with you, wanting to celebrate the connection. Um, but with the uh, Three of Cups coming in reverse, it almost feels as if this person, <clears throat> it almost feels as if, um, mm, it's like they, uh, how can I put it? They... They, I mean, the Three of Cups, I'm just trying to interpret it. The Three of Cups technically is like disconnection um, of wanting to be around you, of wanting to celebrate the connection. But do you know what? They disconnected from their inner self. So it's almost as if they blocked getting to know you, um, being around you, taking things to the next level because they weren't. Um, being true with the false mask so it's almost like they had a false mask with themselves because they weren't connecting with their inner child what their heart their soul that purity of merriment of joy of playfulness um they they disconnected from that and so this is why they're, they're thinking about it it's not just um you know not leveling up to you but they really disconnected from themselves for a hot minute. It's almost as if they got so wrapped up, you know, lost in this connection, um, you know, 
wearing a false mask, just kind of going with the flow of it, but not really stopping to think, hold on a minute, maybe I should be giving a little bit more. Um, you know, you may have been the person that, that nurtured this connection. And then what we've got, yeah, look, the uh, Page of Cups. You're the person, okay, that I feel offered this person small little tokens of love yeah that page of cups is going towards them so i i was right you surrendered to this connection long before you may have really brought your inner child you recognize the purity and the divinity of this connection and i feel as if many of you gave this person the green light time and time and time again and that's why they're reflecting on it you know many of you may have even uh, spoken how you felt yeah in a roundabout way you know a little kind of um something to let this person know how you were feeling because you were operating um from your, your that place of your inner child it may have been a bit a bit of a battle um but you surrendered to it oh wow yeah look at that good for you guys look at that the tower moment the tower in reverse. So it feels as if um, the tower moment uh, that happens between you and this person is over and done with. You've surrendered to self-love. You learned the lessons that they brought to you. And that was to love yourself first and foremost. Uh, many of you may have denied um, or feared or been reluctant to see the false mask that they were presenting not being their authentic self um whatever happened with those swords that came out here that was burdensome for them conversations communication actions whatever it is well not actions actions are ones uh swords are communications so it's to do with a conversation uh many of you um it 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 almost could have been a tower moment for you, but it almost feels as if you took the tower moment that did happen, being in separation, not talking too much uh, to each other, um, and you kind of turned it around. You worked on yourself, okay? Surrendering. Uh, many of you may have surrendered a little bit to um, uh, not seeing in the first instance, this person was wearing a bit of a false mask. They weren't being their true authentic self. But also as well, um, you may have been fearful or denial of what your inner child was uh, connecting with this person through your psyche. Um, it, it wasn't being reciprocated in the same way. They went with the flow of it, but there was something that you weren't seeing or you were denying to see, okay? Uh, you've overcome that, yeah? Surrendering to yourself, putting yourself first, applying self-love. And that was the lesson that you needed to learn. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Uh, so with the uh, Queen of uh, Coins, uh, it could actually be their energy, it could be yours, um, but I feel as if... Um, you are, it's almost as if, if it's them, it feels as if you're putting yourself first before them, okay? If it's, you may have seen this person as long-term commitment, marriage material, somebody that's solid, okay? Uh, you've seen through some sort of illusion, okay? And so, therefore, you may not be putting a lot of time and energy you're focusing on yourself so it's almost like and if this is you it almost feels the same message applies it's like you've pulled back your energy you've stopped yourself um like giving your energy to this person basically you yourself may be ready for long-term commitment marriage um but you're not sure whether or not it's going to be with this person yeah it's like you're putting yourself first basically um you're blocking anything that is um anything that is not going to serve your higher purpose because you guys have mastered this self-love yeah you've definitely mastered it and with the three of swords coming in reverse which is quite interesting um i feel that many of you 
are on that track of forgiving them, recovering. Um, you know, many of you may have internalized whatever this person was doing or saying, like, was it me? Could I have done this better? You know, questioning yourselves. You've done that. You've done it. Yeah. The lessons um, have been learnt, uh, Pisces, on your side. And you are definitely in that recovery. You're definitely in that um, headspace now of forgiving this person. Oh, wow. OK. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, this is them. Look at that. Look at the king and queen of coins divine counterpart so this is telling me that this is them this 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 queen um of um sorry uh this queen of um coins is your energy and the king of coins is their energy you are recovering from the heartache that they put you through okay and uh you are forgiving them so that they can level up and learn their lessons because you do see them as their divine counterpart your energy with the queen of coins coming in reverse is that you are no longer giving so freely to this connection you're not putting all the work in you're blocking it's almost like you want to see that this person is coming towards you correct authentic okay not showing no false mask but you do see this person as your divine counterpart. Basically, you're not putting all the work in. You're surrendering to yourself first. Good for you. But you are recovering. You're forgiving this person. That was a lesson that you needed to learn. And remember what I was saying at the beginning. It almost feels as if your job is to illuminate and, and light the way for this person. They, they will get it. This is them connecting the dots back to you. That's why they're upright because you've pulled back your energy. You're not doing all the work anymore. Twin flame message. Wow. So twin flame message on their set side. We will be together again. So you definitely triggered this awakening. Them reflecting, um, not being their authentic self, disconnecting from their inner child. Uh, you've triggered that. They're thinking about it quite a lot. Um, next message is, oh, how could you still love me after all I've done? So I feel as if on a spiritual level, um, this person, even on a physical level, like I said, if the two of you went through some sort of silent treatment towards each other, it was it was hurtful for you. OK, and, and it's like they're questioning whether or not you can still love them. OK, after everything they've done and how interesting on your side, it says, I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. I feel as if what you may be um, saying on that soul level, on that astral plane, is that uh, when you encountered this person, uh, you, how can I put it, absorbed a lot of their insecurities. Uh, you didn't see with your third eye chakra what was really being played out uh, with this connection. And it almost feels as if you feel that you kind of let them down in uh, to a certain degree. And what I mean by that is that you may have um, you may be reflecting on this thinking, actually, I should have nailed down earlier in this connection what we were to each other. You know, we are dancing around, um, getting to know each other. Um, you know, we got into that kind of little routine with each other of, you know, saying good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever, whatever. Or, you know, they would drop by you. It's almost as if you were both operating as a couple, but nobody actually said, are we actually a couple? Let's just confirm this. Are we exclusive to one another? That's what I feel that you on that astral plane, you're letting them know that you screwed up on that. OK. And you don't know how to fix it. You don't know how to fix it. But what I would say that you certainly do know is that you're not, you're fully awoke, okay? Your psyche is fully awake to that. And you are certainly not going back and entertaining that pattern of behavior because you enabled it, yeah? And your message, is it possible to forgive and forget? Yeah, I feel that uh, your 
what you feel that you screwed up um, with regards to not identifying something quicker, sooner um, and getting some sort of clarity. So it almost feels as if I'll give you an example, Pisces. If the two of you kind of get in to know each other for like maybe, I don't know, a year, 18 months, three years, something like that, it's almost as if you could have shut it down and got clarity on this connection like six months in. It's like it dragged out um, for a year, 18 months, three years, whereas on that six month or even three months, you could have just basically said to this person, what are we like? Let, let's let's clarify here. Are, are we a couple or what? Yeah. Um, it feels as if because it is a twin flame journey, you don't know whether or not they can forgive you because it may have by you not doing that in that like first three or six months and letting it drag out um, for like a year, 18 months, three years, it may have um, delayed a lesson that they've got to learn about themselves, being authentic, being true to themselves. It delayed their part of the journey because the two of you intertwine, you both trigger certain lessons for each other. And it almost feels as if on that astral plane, you're kind of saying, look, can you forgive me? Because you really, what the lessons that you're going through now, you should have really been going through that like three years ago, 18 months ago, a, you know, a year ago. Um, but I didn't, I didn't wake up to my lesson yet. You know, I, I didn't see it. I, I, I didn't see the lesson that you were bringing me which was self-love, patience, maybe. And knowing when to speak your truth and not entertain toxic behaviours, not allow something to continue without getting clarity of what you are and who you are to this person. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm articulating that um, in the right way. But it's like by you not waking up to your lesson and paying attention to it, it delayed their lesson. So you just want to apologise on the spiritual realm. And one more card, please, for the centre for both of you. Oh, OK. And so for both of you, it says seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. And that makes absolute sense if I'm really being honest. Whatever kicked off between the two of you, Pisces, you've definitely leveled up. You've come out the other end. Uh, they're still going through that. And I feel that there is a little bit of, I am picking a little bit of sadness um, simply because this could have been nailed, done and dusted months ago uh, with this person. Um, but you know what? Our journeys are our journeys. We do have free will. Um, but your, your awakening, your, you know, awakening to the lessons that this person brought you, it does bring a little bit of sadness. It's not easy to deal with because you know that this, is, I mean, this is your twin flame. It's like they're going through the part of the journey that was delayed because you didn't see your part of the journey or your lesson quick enough. And it almost feels as if it was right in front of you. And that's why your channeled message was saying, really, really look out for the signs and synchronicities, your dreams and visions, because they will guide you. It's almost like there doesn't need to be any more delays now. So what you need to see, what they're going through, I feel that you're going to be guided and almost put a stop on any kind of behaviour, any kind of toxic behaviour that is rep repetitive. Um of with this person um prior to you learning your lessons because you definitely have mastered self-love and that is what you've got to stand firm on and it will help this person go through their lessons okay i'm going to leave that there for you pisces if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye